Hello, Cat Scats. I'm Brittany, Troop 1 Beavers Patrol. Today's Merit Badge training topic is hacking. You're in for a swell time, whether you're a brand new Cat Scat getting ready for your very first hack, or a hack master leading the patrol on its first 10 miler. But before you buckle up your hacking boots and hit the trail, you must be ready, know how to prepare, and how to conduct yourself when you're out there in the wild. Let's review pre-hack preparations. First up, you'll need to give up a few naps and get in shape. Prepare your hacking muscles by walking up and down stairs, building up your distance and endurance day by day. A 10 mile hike is roughly equivalent to 3,877 trips up and down the stairs. So you'd better start as soon as this training is over. Second, Make sure you have the proper clothing and shoes for your hike. That means wearing your neatly pressed Cat Scouts uniform. It's designed for any outdoor activity, including hiking. If the weather is warm, I recommend the official Cat Scouts short pants for greater comfort. Girl Cat Scouts have the option of wearing capris. Regarding footwear, or bootage as I like to call it, Get yourself some comfortable boots with tough soles and high uppers, ones that are designed to withstand rigorous hikes on treacherous trails. It's vital that they are comfortable and don't chafe, or you'll end up with blisters before you get to your first rest stop. Once, I succumbed to the temptation to get cute hiking boots that were designed for looks rather than utility. Boy, was I ever sorry. Not only did they turn my paw pads into minefields of misery with more blisters than I had band-aids for, but then they fell apart the minute they got wet and leaked pink dye all over my furs. Lesson learned. Always get boots that are designed for comfortable hiking, not a fashion show. After you selected comfortable boots, Make sure you take the time to break in those boots before your first hike. For this, always run them through the dryer for an hour or two on low heat with at least five pounds of rocks. When the thumping sounds become more muted, you'll know they're ready for hiking. Next, you'll need to pack your knapsack. The essentials include an umbrella, because you don't want to get wet if it rains, a white hanky to tie to your tail for visibility when hiking near roadways. Cat traits, of course. Water in your official Cat Scats canteen. Sunglasses. A headlamp because sunglasses make it look pretty dark. Extra clothing. Your bird and squirrel field identification charts. Portable emergency cat cup. Solar battery powered since there are usually no outlets on hiking trails. Vicious deer repellent. A space blanket and astronaut ice cream in case you are forced to hunker down overnight. Cat litter. I'll recommend Mighty Tidy Brand, the lightweight variety, which can be shared and carried by a Kit Scout if one happens to join your hike. Musical instrument like a kazoo, nose flute, harmonica, or an accordion to accompany hiking songs your patrol will sing on the trail. Once you've completed your preparations, you'll need to plan your hike. Your hike master will plan your route taking into account the size and experience of the group, the terrain, weather conditions, and the latest dangerous predators reports. Your hat master will be responsible for navigation using map and compass. Pay attention, you might become a hot master one day. By the way, I advise you not to bring your phone on your hack. Hot masters do not like to be interrupted with real-time GPS location updates. Now, hiking isn't just a fancy word for walking. No siree, don't hit the trail willy-nilly. Pay attention to your stride and your pace. Avoid sprinting 
and stay together with your group. Lag behinds could end up as a vicious deer's lunch. As you're hiking, if you're too out of breath to meow, slow down and smell the animal droppings. Take short, frequent rest breaks. A long cat nap will get you left behind, leaving you in danger of being eaten by wild animals. One fun aspect of hiking is learning how to follow trail signs left by hikers that went before you. They can convey vital information, so learn them well and watch for them. Here are a few examples. Good selfie spot, interest in smells on the left, interest in smells on the right, litter box area, which may also have some interest in smells, steep hill, you will probably need to get down on all fours for this one. And this last one means free Wi-Fi, but this will not apply to Cat Scouts as we do not take our phones or other electronic devices on hikes. Here's another way you and your fellow hikers can have fun observing interesting sights along the way. Your patrol leader can make a list of about 20 things worth looking and listening for with points for each. Here are example of a few things that might be on the list. Stellar's jay, beaver, rattlesnake, vicious deer, squirrel, sasquatch, Loch Ness monster, scat Timmy's underpants. The winner of this game gets a paw massage at the end of the hack, given by the scout who earns the lowest score. Now, safety first. So, when hacking along a roadside, walk in single file on the left side of the road facing traffic. As previously mentioned, tie a white handkerchief to your tail to increase visibility. When you see an approaching vehicle, quickly run and hide under something. And remember, you are hacking, not hitchhiking. No cat scout ever thumbs a ride like a hooligan. Being tired is no excuse. Now, <clears throat> this uh, <clears throat> isn't a pleasant topic. In fact, it's so unpleasant. I uh, hesitate to bring it up, but I would be remiss if I didn't caution you about the most dangerous threat to any cat scout in John time and the great out of doors. Yes, I'm talking about the threat posed by vicious deer. Many new cat scouts are hesitant to explore the outdoors because of wild stories they've heard about giant vicious deer skewering tender young juicy cats on their ginormous antlers and feasting on cat kebabs over the campfire. Well, I'm here to tell you those stories, they're all true. So, always carry a can of vicious deer repellent in your knapsack or even better, strap to your belt so you can have it ready whenever you encounter these monsters. You can pick up a can at the Cat Scout store, just go to catscoutstore.com. Without warning, we've come to the end of your hiking merit badge training. This is Cat Scout Brittany, Troop 1, Beaver's Patrol, reminding you to be prepared and breaking those boots before wearing them. Hey, Cat Scouts, Skizix here. I hope you like that training. Now it's time to log into your account at catscouts.com to review and perform any remaining tasks you need to do to earn this merit badge, including passing the exam. Or did you just watch this video for fun or something? Maybe you're not even a member. Then you might want to go over to catscouts.com and join because it's really fun and you can make friends and go camping and tie knots and stuff. See you over there. What's the deal with Timmy's underpants, anyway? I really love those pink hiking boots. You think we could show a picture here of me and my capris? Don't go getting your panties in a twist. I'll get to it.